What's up guys, welcome to the first episode of a new series I am launching called Wager Fridays and what Wager Fridays basically is, it's pretty much self-explanatory but what it is is that every Friday I'm going to have a commentary over some Wager Mode gameplays uh, consisting of either Gun Game, One in the Chamber, Sharpshooter, or Sticks and Stones and I'll be pretty honest with you guys, I've only been playing uh, Gun Game and One in the Chamber, I haven't played uh, Sticks and Stones or Sharpshooter yet but I heard Six and Stones is good, but Sharpshooter is kind of like retarded. But I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out, you know. But uh, I'll get myself acquainted with those two game modes before I do any uh, any commentaries over them. So, uh, anyways, uh, I gotta remind you guys that to check out my Machinima post. The link is in the description box. Uh, it's my first Black Ops gameplay. Um, I did that last year with Modern Warfare 2. I uploaded my first Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. And now this year I'm doing it with Black Ops, but instead I'm uploading it to Machinima. So, um, go check it out right now and make sure you guys rate it. Because ratings do help, uh, not only their channel, but my video will get more views and, you know, it'll, it'll help me grow. No homo. But, uh, speaking of rating, don't forget to rate this video too. You know, uh, us commentators, we work hard and all we ask is for you guys to take a couple of seconds to just tell us if you like the, the commentary or not. Because, um, it does help our channels grow. And, you know, that, that that gives us more motivation to make videos because, think about it, be honest with yourself. I know it's not all about getting a bunch of views and everything like that, but if you were making videos and nobody watched them, and, you know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't going higher and higher, um, you wouldn't continue because it's just wasting your time. But uh, us, us commentators like to see our channels grow, and, you know, we just like to have fun with it at the same time. So, a rating would be much appreciated. Thank you. Um, but anyway, it's about gun game or wager mode in general. It's not really about KDR. It's about uh, winning. And there's some guys who think it's about KDR and they go in there trying to get a good KDR. Like, I don't get it. You're not going to win. You're not going to earn any COD points. You're actually going to lose COD points by doing that. So uh, going into gun game, you don't want to have the ha have the like mindset that you got to get a good KDR. It's all about winning and getting the, uh, the, the 3,000 or whatever the hell... You, you either got the low stake, the medium stake, or the high stake. And I usually like to go into the medium stake. I never play in the high stake, and I only go into the low stake when I need cop points to get into the medium stake. So it, that's the way I play a gun game. Uh, or Well, I keep saying gun game. I, that's the way I play wager mode. Because the majority of, of, of times I just play gun game. So that's why I just I associate gun game with wager mode way too much. So... Um, that's what I do to to get into the medium stake. You know, you can either do that or you can try to rank up. But um, anyways, uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. One of them being, what was that I was gonna talk? Oh, the day that I'm uploading this right now, when I'm recording this, is Monday, and when I'm uploading this is is Black Friday. And if you guys in other countries don't know what Black Friday is, it's in America, and basically what it is is uh, it's it's a Friday after Thanksgiving, in which these stores give like major sales on everything and you could get a lot of things for cheap uh, I remember a couple of years ago my friend bought a laptop that usually cost two thousand dollars two thousand two hundred two thousand five hundred dollars that it usually cost and he got it for about seven hundred and fifty dollars because that store was kinda going out of business so they wanted to clear their shelves and they just sold it to him for seven for seven hundred dollars or seven fifty I forgot which one but uh, that's a huge sale right there that's a lot of money saved you know, you you can do a lot of other shit with the money that you save. You you know, spend it on porn, hookers, or buy a TV. How about that? So, you know, you can do a lot of shit with the money that you save, and that's why a lot of people like to spend their money on Black Friday. But uh, I remember last year they they killed a customer with in the stampede because everybody was trying to get in and get those sales first, and they ended up knocking over a customer, and somehow a door or something like that fell on him and crushed him, or something like that, and uh, they had to close down the store for the day. And there was like a police investigation. But watch this shit right here. This is the benefit of theater mode. You see how close I was to getting a hit with the crossbow. Because with the crossbow, I am horrible. There's two weapons in, gun, in the gun game that I am horrible with. And that is the crossbow and the ballistic knife. And you will see right here. In any second now. <laughs> uh, I show I show it in a much better sense. Because you can only see like the green faded. And I, don't know, I don't know if that's... Uh, with your computer if you might be able to see that so watch this part right here I show a very good any second now so right about come on come on <laughs> there we go right about there you see the crossbow is right there and then 
I click the R2 button one more time, like really lightly, and you see how close it is. Look, you can even see like the little window, whatever the fuck that is. It's like centimeters, millimeters away from his head, and I miss. Come on, Trick. You couldn't got. You couldn't just give me the kill. I mean, I'm horrible with this shit, anyways. But ah, <sighs> sometimes that happens, and you you got to get through these last two weapons, which is the crossbow and the ballistic knife, in order to win the game. And it's always a it's always a hustle for me. Like you see right here, I just go crazy. I just like fuck it, you know. Try to get something. Try to get lucky or something like that. But um, anyways, uh, so Black Friday is is the Friday I'm uploading this video, and hopefully I can go out and try to get myself something for sale. You know, a laptop, PVR, HD TV, whatever I can get. That's if my check comes in on time. But if it doesn't, then whatever. I'll just spend it on whatever. But, um, there was another thing I want to talk about, but I'm not going to have enough time because the commentary is going to end in like a minute, and I just can't explain it all in a minute, so I'll just save it for my next commentary, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you check out the link is in the description box, my machinima post, and don't forget to rate the video, and these wager mode Fridays, these wager Fridays might be short, they might be long, depending on how long the gameplay is, and that sounded very sexual, but, <laughs> oh well. But, uh, here comes the part with the knife. I don't think I get set back. No, I don't. Um, this, this part, I actually got a kill with the ballistic knife much easier than I thought I would. I thought I'll have to be running around like a chicken without a head for like five minutes, but... Right around here, I almost get it, but these two motherfuckers are like... I think they did the panic knife shit, but... Here's, here's the part where I end it. Really close, I almost died right there if you saw that. Rewind it. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Once again, don't forget to rate. I'm going to keep on reminding you guys. <laughs> Till next time, peace out.